Okay, so we are going to start another document. This is going to be the B uh, part of this exercise. So once you do a new, leave the settings. And what we're going to save it as uh, automatically is as the other one is B. So I'm going to go under File, Save As. And I don't want to retype everything. So I'm just going to select my last name, first name. And then after the five, just click B. And I just want to save it right away so then... I can just uh, do command as for keep saving it. Okay. Save. Now for the, oh, and okay. For the earlier class, I didn't even tell them this. So it's always better to be a second lab. <laughs> just FYI, if you ever have to register for anything, be the second one. Especially if it's back, you know. Um, I'll give you your gold now. So what you want to do is when every time you select a pattern, remember I told you start with a zero zero pattern. The pattern has really is a square. So what do you think you're gonna start with? A square. Always start with a square. I didn't tell that to the other lab. I made them figure it out. So you're gonna do your own pattern. This is what it has to have: at least five shapes. It has to have half circle that, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. That's going to be repeated as a circle when you when you do it on both sides. And it has to attach. The pattern has to be good. It's not like throwing shapes and, oh, look at that. It's a pattern. No, it has to make sense, okay? So I'm just going to give you, again, and at least two of them have to be gradient. So you need to do at least, what, five shapes minimum, at least two gradients, right? Everything, make sure the gradients blend nicely, not just the gradient. I will give you 20 minutes to do so, and 20 minutes will take a break. So you have until 5.30. So let me show you. So I would say, let's say if you want to do the half circle. And again, uh, start with a rectangular, which is M for making no sense. <laughs> That's how I remember things, okay? Maybe it will help you too. So it has to be even. So hold the shift key so it's even square. Now, notice I have pattern from the last exercise. I don't want this. So you can just click on a default setting here. Now, your, there's no reason why your pattern cannot have color. So you can actually fill that with color if you want to. Okay? There's no reason why it couldn't have it. You can have it maroon. And I'm not going to have any fill I don't, because I don't want that to repeat. I want the color to repeat but not my stroke. So I'm going to lock this shape and one thing you can work with layers where you uh, have one layer and then you're going to do a second one for the pattern and just lock the bottom one. Okay, so I just went to my layers and uh, click on new and then repeat it. Again, you can put any color you want, but this um, just for now, just watch me so you don't do. But I'm going to move, uh, I'm going to do half circle. There are different ways to do it, but I don't think all of the tools have been discussed yet. So I'm going to show you a way that you already done in um, last uh, chapters on your lab. So if I do ellipse tool, and right now it's pretty, I'm going to choose it yellow. Actually, let me choose blue. Now I want to have this ellipse tool repeat it. Now there are different things, and again, this is just watch. Because I'm not gonna, <clears throat> you don't have to do this. So if I have my circle, perfect circle, hold the shift key, right, for proportion. And I repeat it. Key, important thing about a pattern, you want to make sure it's aligned correctly. Because if it's misaligned, things may not match. This actually makes pretty good pattern. Now, it's not aligned correctly. On top, you should have options for alignment. I don't have it. I have to activate my tools. If you don't have it, if yours is as empty as mine, then go window, align, right? Window align. This option should come up. And I'm going to show you. Just watch because I'm going to finish before you start. I selected. Now, I'm going to go kind of sides by sides. I'm going to align the top, the side, and the bottom, and then the right side. So I'm going to start with the top and I'm going to align either the bottoms because the shapes are the same or the top. So depending on the shape that you do. Uh, I'm going to align. So notice here we have options. So it kind of tells you align 
top, bottom, I'm gonna do top. Nothing moved, that means it's pretty good. Then I'm gonna do the bottoms for this one. Nothing moved, that means I did a good job. Now notice here, when I selected the two on the left side, I'm gonna do align left. See how it moved? Because it wasn't perfectly aligned yet. Now if I want it closer, I can move them. Same thing here, except this time I'm gonna move it to this right edge. It moved. So I have them aligned. Now I can already save this as a pattern and I wanna show you how that's gonna look like. So I'm gonna select those shapes. I didn't group them yet, so I need to select them all. Now if I draw, they're pretty big, right? I draw a shape and I select my pattern. Look at that, what happened? What's the color? Did I have it? Because I locked it. Exactly. I locked it. Anytime you lock something, that's what is going to happen. Okay? So you need to unlock that layer if you want the color to show. But before I actually continue, let me go ahead and unlock it. Then I'm going to show you again. But notice what happens with the pattern, though, when I do this. The pattern. It actually doesn't look too bad, right? But you notice the distances are kind of off here. And really, if you want a good pattern, you probably want to have good distances. Why? Because the distances here are not even either. So if you want to have a very nice pattern, you want to make sure that every distance that you're using is even. So I use my guides in this case. So I'm gonna select the middle of my um, this tool. So I'm gonna drag my guide right here, right here, okay? What we're gonna do is center the circle within that box. Now, if that doesn't help you and you want a grid, you can go ahead under view, and we have show grid, right? Now, this shape, if you if you bothers you, cannot see very well, you can change opacity. Because right now I cannot see the centering of it. But you can see the grid. Hopefully you see it better. Um, and you can always change opacity to show it. And you can align within those boxes. Always treat a pattern as a square and align that out. Now, one thing is if I move them, what has to happen? I need to realign them, right? So it's a pain in the, you know where, down below in the shirt. Because <laughs> I want to make sure it's all even. So sometimes I may move two of them, but. So look at the boxes. Notice here on top, like this is good, but here I don't have enough room, right? So here and here, but now you have to think about that distance because is the distance here the same as the distances here. That makes sense? So you have to calculate it. So let us check. I mean, the best thing to do is receive the pattern and check it. And now, if you have many patterns, probably it's gonna go to the next line. Another thing you can do is select the pattern that you've done and delete it. So anything you don't like, don't use it, just delete it. So click on it, click the trash, and delete it. So I'm gonna drag this out. Any minute now. Okay, maybe not. Uh, one thing, oh, I put it to my stroke, remember what happens? Uh, one thing, if you have a pattern, you cannot apply a pattern to a pattern. It won't let you save it. So now we have this one, and now I have applied accidentally, you see? Accidentally applied pattern to my stroke. So I don't cannot have that. I'm just gonna have to remove it. It will not let me save my pattern. So double check. If any time you create a pattern and you're trying to save it, if it doesn't let you, it's because you already had a pattern in it. So I'm going to now hopefully save it. Select it. Okay. So they're more even now. There's still more distance, you see? So you just need to figure out if you need to move them closer. I'm going to do two at a time. Or what? So this is just measuring game at this point. <clears throat> so I'm gonna try again and we'll try again to 
save this pattern and see. Now you can do something more complex. Um, actually, I don't know if it's applying to the wrong thing again. There it is. We'll look at that. That's pretty even, right? It's better than it was before. Notice the difference. You see? Okay. All right. What you're going to have to do, though, is a half circle. So let me show you. If you remember from last time, last class, review from uh, lab assignment and your book chapter. If I want to do half circle, what would be one way to do it? And I'm going to fill it with yellow. Oh, so what would I do? Anybody remembers? Yeah, you can do the shape builder or you can do the pathfinder, whichever one. And I'm going to select rectangle tool to actually draw on it too. So you need to find the middle point of your circle. Now, if you don't see the middle point when you draw it, then I'm going to undo. Then you need to move the guide. You need to see that middle point because that's where you're going to cut it. So I'm going to drag it right in the middle of my circle. And then I know here I want to draw another shape. Again, I would do that shape very close to your circle. Don't let it extend too much. Somewhere like touching the edges. Okay. Now we've both selected. I'm just hold the shift key. You can have, if you do alignment, Pathfinder should show. And I'll give you a tip because we did that in morning class. You're going to do the trim. And the crop, I mean. The crop, which is the fourth um, option in Pathfinder. Click on that, and there it is, my half circle. Okay? So, my, you don't, you know, you do your own pattern, but you need to include half circles on both sides. So, if I'm going to move this pattern around, and I change that, I'm going to need to have that half circle on one side. And this is pretty big, so I just can modify it here. And then... I'm going to repeat that half circle on the other side. You can also look at images online to kind of guide you as a guide as well, that pattern. So you can repeat it. So look what I did. Did you see what I just did? I copied that shape and I rotated it. You can also do reflect. So I'm going to move my circle right in the middle here. Now notice this. I'm going to save that, this pattern and apply it to one of those circles now. Make sure your stroke and the fill is selected, not the stroke. So notice what happened. The circle is kind of lopsided and has a space. Why do you think that is? Did I align it? No. So always... And sometimes when you rotate, you may think it looks perfectly rotated. It may be. But let's check with alignment. Again, align. And we can do it to the bottom. See how it moved? Now, is it touching really the edge and there's nothing else sticking out? That's always important to know. All right, the distance. Let's try now. Save that. See? Now it is aligned now. Now, I have the other dots in here just because they're, they don't come from this shape. But there is my pattern. Now, what if I want to have something here? What can I do? I'm going to already use this half circle too. Kind of like an example. And rotate it. And I'm going to make that half circle smaller. And I don't really want to constrain the size. And I'm going to add another color to it. Oh, remember I want to add color to it? What happened to it? You have to go inside of it because you combine two objects. So you have to double click activate that side and then apply color so okay i'm gonna go here and now i can repeat that shape oh no that is what happened here i need to things moved around hold on i will do so in a minute once i change the color there it is go back to my layer two i can move that shape and now i'm going to repeat that shape and if, if you want to rotate it, it's fine. Another way, if you want to make sure it's uh, right, is right-clicking on it, selecting Arrange. Actually, not Arrange. Transform. And doing Reflect. And we are reflecting horizontally. 
and there it is you see now again when I before you actually save it make sure your alignment is showing correctly so how are we gonna do it to edge right so we need to align it to one side see it moved now if you see if it's not center with then you just move the shapes okay and now let us save the shape and see what happens with this pattern it's, it saved it underneath the second row also so just now and let me select the pattern you see that look at that did I make perfect circle there so I just made a perfect circles without only having one circle and half circles so you need to have within your pattern what how many elements do you need five. you need five elements at least you can do more at least uh, half circle at least one and you need to have at least two gradients in those uh, elements so after you're done save it and if you're done with today you can go ahead and submit everything in my Dropbox okay and that's it